What's up guys, it is Maxwell with the next video and today as I had already told you guys we're gonna be talking about the tier system and as you have probably guessed from the title by now I'm not alone today, I've actually brought an expert on Town Hall 10 tiers uh, on here today um, so um, we have got Riggs aka Clashing FFS on YouTube with me, what's up Riggs? What is going on, Maxwell? Thank you for inviting me to do this. It's going to be a really fun video, an educational video for everybody because there's a lot of questions surrounding the new tier system, especially with CWL right around the corner. Absolutely. So just real quick, uh, tell us what you're doing in Clash. What's your uh, most fun stuff to do inside the game and maybe also like outside as far as CWL and stuff goes? Well, I mean, obviously, my favorite thing to do would be war. You know, would, would be doing wars. You know, compet. You know, I am in the competitive uh, war scene. I am the YouTuber and a co-leader in Forge from Steel. We are doing uh, premiere uh, in season four. Um, but yeah, I mean, definitely making videos. I have a lot of fun doing it, and it's going to be an exciting uh, season coming up. But not only has the league gotten bigger, but with these new changes. Obviously, we, there's still a lot of hype from the post update uh, with Town Hall 10, which is what we're going to be talking about today. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Uh, once again, thank you for coming on. Of course, we're going to talk a bit more about you later as well. Guys, there's going to be a link to Rick's channel in the video description also. So um, definitely go over there, subscribe to his channel. He's doing awesome stuff. And by the way, if you oh, are... Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, if you're getting the feeling that this video is maybe going to take a long time, it just might. I'm going to put timestamps in the video description also. So in case you're looking for a specific part, we're going to have certain topics we're going to talk about today. And yeah, I'm going to have timestamps. So let's head right into it. Um, and I've got a couple of questions since you are the expert and I am not. <laughs> um, and, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> well, in my opinion, you are. So uh, my first question would be, um, because I have actually been sort of confused uh, on this a little bit as well. Um, what has changed in the, the Tunnel 10 tier system in CWL from what we are used to from Season 3 compared to Season 4? It's more the breakdown. Uh, before, there was obviously five tiers, uh, you know, tier, tiers one through five. Now there is only three. As far as the total of points allowed, that has not changed. So starting with point zero through 300, um, 300 meaning 100% fully max Town Hall 10. Uh, so they went from five tiers to three, and that's basically because of the post-update and i mean tier ones at the end of the day no one ever used tier ones pretty much ever in the old system so they already knew there had to be some changes you know were going to have to be made um but yeah so there are the the points have varied with a few of the defenses that like for example the cannons those have remained the same uh can level 12 five points cannon level 13 meaning fully max is 10 points archer towers got a little heavier Wizard Towers got a little heavier under the new system. Uh, Expos and Inferno Towers actually got lighter, which which does make sense, being as both of those defenses were nerfed um, post-update, uh, which were some good changes there. Uh, but yeah, the total amount of points are the same. Fully max is 300, uh, going from five tiers now to only three. Yes, and of course, guys, we are going to give our opinions on the changes and the system itself a bit later in the video, but for the beginning, we wanted to keep it like a lot on topic. In case you are a bit confused now and you don't really know what we're talking about with the points and that stuff, we're going to be heading right over to the CWL tier calculator itself, actually. You can find that on the CWL server in the info section. There is a link to the tier calculator, so... Let's head there right now. All right, and here we are, guys. This is the Channel 10 tier calculator for Champions War League. Um, and we are going to be giving you guys a couple of examples and explain how this thing works. So me personally, I have never been somebody who's gotten too deep into this. I've always had good people around me who told me what to upgrade. <laughs> um, Riggs, I get that you have uh, worked with this uh, way more than I have, obviously. Um, so... Um, 
yeah, how should we go about this? Should I just tell you maybe uh, what I have currently on my town hall ten, and we sort of figure it out that way? Yeah. Well, is your is your town hall ten fully maxed as, as no. far as defenses go? No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, so let me know, and if you want, I can plug it in for you, or, or you can do it. Absolutely. So from uh, my Tunnel 10 and Season 3, it used to be a, and now don't get this wrong, guys, it used to be a Season 3 Tier 2 Tunnel 10, so a lowish weight Tunnel 10. So, okay, low, okay. And uh, now I've started upgrading, and the goal is to actually max it out eventually, but it's not yet, so that's sort of where we're at. And from what I understand... What used to be a tier two town hall ten in the new system, that if that guy would upgrade anything, that's a tier one, right? That's correct. All right, awesome. So and then someone like and then someone like my base, I was a tier four in the old system, mm -hmm. meaning I'm now a tier three in the new system, which would be fully maxed, but I'm on the lowest end of that scale. So if you if anyone watching this was a tier four uh, last season. You have a lot of farming to do. Or you're gonna have uh, your base will be at a disadvantage for your clan going forward. Yeah, because you're like basically the highest tier now in tier three, but you're a really low weight tier three. But it's which... the low. It's yeah. It's the lowest scale. So I was I was a two thirty. Uh, I was a two thirty um, with my old tier four, and the beginning weight of tier three is only 221 points. So you're at the very bottom end um, of the, of that new, of that new tier. Exactly. So I've already started adding in a couple of things here. My hero levels, very obvious. They are maxed out. And then for the cannons, um, I still have some cannons to upgrade. So upgrades in progress, obviously don't count, I guess. So I have, um, all my cannons are at least one level below max, and I have three upgrading right now and three more to upgrade. So I guess I have six that are level 12? Yes. And then, uh, how many cannons are there? Seven, right? Uh, six. Six, okay. So that means I don't have any maxed cannons. All right. Yeah, so you can just leave that one. Yeah, leave that right there. Okay, I, I put a zero. I hope that's not going to mess with. Probably not. No, no. <laughs> Archer Towers. My Archer Towers are all maxed. How many Archer Towers are there? I don't even know. You'll have So you'll have seven. Okay, so I have seven level 13 Archer Towers. Wizard Towers are all maxed also. So we got how many? We've got five Wizard Towers. I know that. See, I know some things. <laughs> No, no, four. We got four. Four. <laughs> four. <laughs> nice try. There we go. So you're you're nice you're still with me. That's that's nice. You're you haven't fallen asleep yet. Um, <laughs> expos level four. Uh, they're all maxed. So three expos okay. level four. Bomb towers are also. Yeah, I'm just checking. You know, I've got my iPad in front of me. I'm checking all this stuff, guys. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, bomb towers. They're also both maxed. Mortars level eight. That that's the max level probably. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So none of my mortars are maxed as of now. So zero. And then inferno towers. Um, they are both level three. So I have two. All right. So I have two hundred sixty-six points. What does that get me? <laughs> so that would mean you are a tier three. Um, kind of a mid tier three, so three hundred points. Uh, it would mean fully maxed. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, so that account you'd have to farm up. Um, I mean, you're kind of you're kind of mid. You're kind of mid. Okay. I mean, you're, you're, that base is a lot heavier than mine. Um, okay. But yeah, so three hundred points is fully maxed. And what's the tier one, tier two again? So uh, tier one goes from uh, zero to 150 points, and tier two goes from 150 goes from 151 to 220. Tier three is 221 to 300. Those are so there are a lot of you know custom builds you know different ways people you All know right. can upgrade their base. All right, so 
Um, originally, of course, we were thinking about putting your example in here, but I just figured out something else. How about we put for your example on your name, we put in an old tier maxed out tier two. And um, that way people will get a feeling of how heavy an old tier two now is and what they can upgrade, for example, to make it a tier two now. I think that's a okay. good idea. So heroes are, of course, going to be maxed. I mean, it's pretty basic. You're going to need those maxed heroes to three star anything. <laughs> so let's go 40-40. Right, exactly. How many? Okay, so yeah, I can go ahead. I can go ahead and plug that in. So go. before an old tier two uh, in the old system, which a lot of people are, um, the ba basically the way you have it is the 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 cannons were town hall nine level, so those would be zero. We would just have zeros. But didn't you? There was different builds also. I think right. Like I used to well, have. But, well, what I'm going to build, I'm going to build the one that was the most common okay, that sure. we would see as a, as a tier two, the ones Absolutely. that we pretty much always saw. So cannons uh, were always at the, you know, the black cannon, the town, you know, just the yeah. town hall nine cannon. Exactly. Uh, the archer towers were always going to be level 12. And again, these are just the most common ones. Yes. Um, and we had seven of those. Uh, we'll go ahead and plug a zero in there. Wizard towers, they usually had uh, the level eight wizard towers. So we had four of those. Um, Expos were usually Town Hall 9 level, or that was, you know, one of the more common builds, but we can go off that. Uh, Bomb Towers were Town Hall 9, Mortars were Town Hall 9, uh, Inferno Towers were usually um, level 2, and we yes. had two of those. Um, so that would only put you guys at, and we do have a lot of people in our clan using Forge from Steel as an example, uh -huh. the total weight points is 102, um, meaning you have... 48 points that you can play around with wow um so, so you there's still so that means you could have level three inferno towers um you could upgrade you know your wizard towers to fully max and still keep the point defenses the same uh -huh. it really depends how i mean 48 points is still quite a bit you know given um what you already have built on your base uh exactly so yeah yeah definitely definitely some wiggle room that people have now all right so um, and these are tier one, so tier ones obviously post update are going to be a lot heavier than what we saw last season. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see uh, if we like, for example, were to make this into a. I think people can like fill with that themselves to figure out like a max tier one. But let's say we were to make this a balanced build. Uh, balanced, I mean, like defending air and ground equally good. Balanced build max tier two like what could we do with this to get to uh, a, a fully max tier two yes okay please. 220 points uh yeah so like right here um first thing obviously at uh the the current meta in the game at town hall 10 is going to be hog so obviously any any point defenses um are going to be good so archer towers you still have decent point defenses when you have level 12 archer towers which are one level below max so yes. what we can do we can go ahead and upgrade our cannons since the 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 previous cannons were pretty much town hall nine level uh, -huh. uh say we went ahead and added in um oops let's say we went ahead and added in six of those uh that would put you at 162 so there's still a lot of leeway uh inferno towers um we are seeing them still on single shot so i wouldn't even touch those i would just stick with maxing out some more of your defenses um another thing that's going to wreck hogs and you know even uh lalo is going to be wizard towers so you if you went ahead and upgraded your wizard towers we can change this we can go ahead and change this to zero and say you have your level nine wizard towers yes we can go ahead and bring that uh to four um that's still at 220 so you can still upgrade a couple things again 220 is the max right now we're at 202 on okay. this build so you can't really touch inferno towers you could upgrade uh your bomb towers which are also going to help mm -hmm. yeah um, get those hawks. hawks out yep so right <laughs> there so that's so that's uh that's 208 and you could even do what one we expo can do, maybe you could do an expo um that would put us at 218 and again as you guys see using this calculator definitely 
uh, download this calculator um, and go ahead and you, know, you can play around with it. You, know, you don't have to have it this exact build. Uh, you could switch it up. Again, we went with a max level 13 cannons. You could just upgrade your cannons one level to level 12, and then that would give you more play with other defenses. So yeah. 218, I'm going to tell you guys, a, a fully maxed tier 2 under this new system is very, very deadly, as you guys can see. And again, Inferno Towers, whether they're uh, multi-target, we're still not even really seeing. It's all about the single shot. And in my humble opinion, whether you have – a level one infernal tower or a level three infernal tower other than the hit points it they're doing the same thing if they're on single shot at the end of the day uh -huh. um so infernal towers if you know if you if you have level two infernal towers i would just leave them upgrade some more of your splash and some more of your point defenses yeah because if you're going to have them on single target they're not making uh, much of a difference between level one to level three it doesn't make much of a difference yeah that's what a lot of the 10v10 hitters already told me like pre-update also like uh, max point defense way more pesky than max infernos like if you compare those um but uh yeah awesome so we have an almost maxed uh it's probably like tough to get uh completely maxed out 220 points but i'd say 218 is pretty nice so here, check this check this out max right here real quick check uh -huh. that out fully maxed tier two now upgraded two mortars Damn. and now we're at uh 220 right on the nose uh that is a fully maxed uh tier two and again these are just examples guys use the calculator play around with it uh and make sure you're upgrading the right buildings yes exactly um hopefully we'll figure out the point of this video where i can uh, blend in a couple of screenshots for you guys of maxed out tier one two and threes in the current uh system um still figuring out the way but yeah we'll see so anyways that's the tier calculator um i hope you guys uh, now sort of know how to use it if you go if you use this link from the cwl discord server you get to this website and then you have a google document that you cannot edit so you so copy that it's really easy you just go like to the top and there it's, it's an option um in the drop down menu that uh, allows you to copy it and then the copy you can edit of course and that's how we got here that's how we can play around with this so um that's gonna do it for the calculator we're gonna be heading on to some more questions guys and uh yeah we'll do that in the next section and here we are guys now that we have the uh, very technical stuff out of the way we're going to be um doing a little bit of um a talk uh, now and sort of like give, like give our thoughts on the um, tier system the way it is now and of course meta and all that good stuff and yeah so first of all ricks um we already like uh, saw the changes or heard about the changes in the beginning of the video what are your thoughts as far as the changes goes from season uh, three compared to season four? Um, easier, uh, more difficult, better, worse? What do you think? Uh, what do you make of all of this? I think the changes were good. I think they were necessary, you know, given the fact that at the end of the day, and I use quotation marks, Town Hall 10, three stars, you know, 10 v 10 has become easier uh, post update clearly because of what has happened to the inferno tower so and we already know tier ones were not used at all i mean so it was tiers one through five in the old system no one had tier ones so that was just kind of a wash uh, and tier twos those were always the basis for the most part getting three starred pre-update and now they're pretty much just getting mowed down uh the old tier twos of course so obviously the cwl had to make change you know they had to make changes uh but yeah I, th I think i think they were good um and i think that a lot you know it because the seasons have been kind of spread apart this time they weren't so close together between season two and season three uh it's given people more time to upgrade because at the end of the day you're not going to see really low weight town hall tens on the map because uh we've even seen <laughs> examples of town hall nines three starring some of these lower weight town hall tens <laughs> yeah. which we do not want in a competitive no. you know what's supposed to be the most elite uh war league that the game you know that the game has yes. in it so 
um, yeah, I, I think they were good. Uh, one thing that I, one thing I don't like about it is the Inferno Towers for level one have not changed. Remember, there are still ta- there are still some Town Hall nines that are upgrading. Uh, they're going to be the best ones off because their Inferno Towers they're going to be able to leave at level one, which do not have a weight in this new system. I do not okay. like that. Like previously mentioned. Inferno Towers, whether they're level one or level three, if you have them on single target, it's literally the same thing other than the amount of hit points that Inferno Tower has. Um, so for guys upgrading that don't have Inferno Towers dropped or just have level one Inferno Towers dropped, they can pretty much have fully max defenses, meaning point defenses and splash, uh, and still be a tier one. Um, yeah, I, hope, I mean, I don't, I don't know if they're going to make any changes to that. My opinion is they should. Level one Inferno Towers um, should have a weight to them. But other than that, um, I do like the the adjustments that the league made. Yeah, absolutely. I think it made it easier. Um, I think it was a lot more confusing in Season 3 compared to now. So simplifying things is definitely always good. And um, in my opinion, it also makes... Uh, ch- uh, makes sense to like go heavier like pretty much every tier has gotten a bit heavier of course except maxed um, but uh, that makes uh, yeah sense with the current meta with like so many more 10v10 triples even on max basis so yeah I'm a fan uh, of, of what I've uh, learned about it um, and this is the part where we're gonna like use the screenshots that you have uh, already offered me so that's awesome do you have any suggestions on uh, what to like sort of look for in the current meta what to upgrade and like maybe uh, um, also compared from tier one to to tier three i mean we're gonna have the um, screenshots of the tier one to three builds on the screen um at this time so um yeah, what do you think? What should what should everybody uh, upgrade in in tier one? What should have have everybody like max, for example? Yeah, as as far as upgrade order, I mean, Town Hall ten is now at the point to where uh, whether you're a tier one all the way up to the heaviest, meaning tier three, no Town Hall tens are kind of off limits as far as ten v ten potential. Uh, so obviously the lower weight bases are going to be the ones first looked at. But as you've seen in your wars, as we see, see in ours, I've seen it where we've had to dip the lower weights and we've three starred the, you know, the town hall tens at the very top of the map. We have all kinds of videos on it. Um, so a lot of it is going to come down to build. But for those that are upgrading, you know, from the bottom, uh, trying to get a little heavier tier one, uh, definitely splash is key because of things like hogs, it's still a lot of mass attacks, you know, using hogs, using balloons. So wizard towers, um, I believe are, are crucial. Stay away from the inferno towers for now. Um, and of course, uh, archer towers, because they can shoot ground and air, obviously, other than, you know, cannons is only ground. So I would definitely um, look to upgrade archer towers first because they're both. You need to have a well-balanced town hall 10 now you can't really favor one over the other. So having something that can shoot ground and air, look to upgrade those, i.e. wizard towers, art towers. Um, again, inferno towers, leave those alone. Bomb towers, very little weight um, under the new system. So upgrading bomb towers is big, again, because of hogs. Mm-hmm. And what is it, like one or two points for a, for a fully maxed out bomb tower? So definitely look to upgrade um, those first as well. Yeah, it's yeah, absolutely. Bomb tower level four is three points, so not three heavy. Points, okay. Yeah, not not heavy uh, at all. So yeah, I would have to agree. I really like the max wizard towers because they have like so many more hit points. It feels like, and uh, the hawks like take longer to take them down and stuff. And of course, they're also good against uh, loons. Like depending on who you are facing, you are still gonna run into a lot of lalo if somebody's gonna try to defend against hawks extra hard. I always like the very balanced builds, um, and that's definitely something that you can, of course, mess around with with this tier calculator. So, yeah. And uh, one more question, and this is once again a little bit more technical. And uh, for all of you guys that are listening that are not playing an in invite but in lower leagues like Premier or Rising or whatever, um, this differs, but uh, I understand that there is certain requirements for a CWL master roster as far as 
what you have to have from each tier and knowing this in my opinion makes a lot of sense for every tunnel 10 because if you're like uh, looking f to join a clan for example and let's say the clan war whales doesn't have enough tier ones uh, for example and um, they are looking to recruit tier ones that may for example help you to get to some clans that's what i'm thinking at least so um as i said it's different for the leaks but let's go over invite real quick so um, I'm making an invite master roster and how many tier 3s, tier 2s and tier 1s do I need to have? So for tier 1, uh, there's a, well there is a difference between the master roster which we'll go over and what is required actually in war. Okay. Uh, so as far as, did you, did, did you want to go over master roster or what's the actual yeah. war required? Master roster first please. Okay, so for invite using uh, invite as the example for tier ones you need a minimum of two tier one town hall tens uh, you need a minimum of two tier twos on your master roster and um this is the really interesting one i know you wanted to to, to make a comment on this uh for the master roster so you need two of each two tier ones two tier twos and then you need a combined six uh, tier ones and tier twos. So a combined of those. And uh, for tier three, uh, master roster is um, 22. So uh, for, for the heaviest. So, uh, and then for the war requirements, uh, one tier one, two tier twos, four uh, combined tier ones and tier twos, and 18 uh, fully max bases uh, is what we're looking at for invite. All right, so basically what I'm looking at, every war is going to have um, four low weights, a.k.a. tier 1s and tier 2s on either, either side. Is that correct? Uh, it's going to be, yeah, well, it'd actually be six in total. But uh, in war, on either side, four or six? Six. Okay, so six uh, bases that are not maxed in every war. Yes. All right, nice. And uh, I think what you were suggesting earlier with the way that it's set up right now is that um, it would be possible for a clan to have like only very few uh, tier ones, but a lot of tier twos uh, in the current meta. Is that correct? Yes. So as far as what's going to be required on the war map, uh, minimum, uh, the, the absolute minimum is you have to have one uh, tier one town hall 10. Um, then you need minimum uh, one tier two for that category, and I'm and I'm, I think you have the screenshot up on the screen. And then we have, and then for tier twos, it's a combined. This is what I was talking about earlier. It's a combined four tier ones and tier twos. But in my opinion, this one this one's a little weird uh, because naturally what a clan is going to want to do is have what they're, they're going to want to have the heaviest bases if you want to yeah. put in your lightest lighter bases you're kind of putting yourself as a, at, at a disadvantage as far as weight um but these are just you know the, the the minimum requirements so that one is a little funky uh but yeah so in war you need four combined four tier ones or and or tier twos so again this one is is a little weird yeah so my thoughts on that was uh, tier one and tier two is gonna get tripled anyways, <laughs> so um, oh, yeah, for, yeah, that's like I I get what you're saying that uh, this is po possibly like exploitable in some way, um, but like the way the wars are working right now, the way the wars like we're having with an average of like eight ten v tens, like we from uh, after the update we've had anything from. I think six to thirteen ten v ten triples. So, uh, and the average is probably around eight. I would say so. Those lower yeah, weight six bases. six to eight would probably be average. Yeah. Yeah. So those lower weight bases are still, of course, the, the 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 prime targets. Lower weight is now pretty much everything that is not max. Like prior to the update, you were like on the tier fours or even some heavier tier threes. You were like. All right, how am I defending these dips? Because I'm not gonna get 10v10 anyways. Um, that's not the case anymore. So, 
Right. And that's why a lot of it, you know, uh, has to do with bills as well. And I'm sure we could do, you know, we could do a whole separate video just on that. Um, but like I said, we have seen some examples where you have a fully maxed town hall 10 who had never been 10 v 10 since they've been in, you know, the, the competitive war scene, um, and say they're not building a very good base. We've seen it to where, you know, we've three starred, you know, the, the, the upper bases, but one thing that lower weight town hall tens have always had to do and do very well is defend. They've always built to try to defend town hall, fully maxed town hall tens before were just kind of, you weren't getting 10 v 10. You're just going to be getting dipped. So as far as your base yeah. layouts, they were, you know, just kind of weird looking, but we've had guys say, wow, I've never been 10 v 10 until this war. Um, so that's something that's very, very crucial is the base builds. Uh, what we're trying to do in this video is maximize um, potential as far as how you can upgrade your base so your clan's not at a disadvantage. Uh, but yeah, building is definitely key. From tier one to tier three, you've got to have a good base on that map because no bases are off limits anymore. Exactly. All right, so we covered that as well. Um... I think that we've had a lot of info in, inside this video. As I said, it's it's been uh, a long video focusing on defense today. Usually, you guys, all you see from me is uh, offense. Um, I think, or it, am I mistaken about this? Didn't you just make a video where uh, one of your base defended like five times, and you're explaining a lot of about that also? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And we yeah we could link that. Um... But yeah, so I did a, uh, a defense video using my base. Yes, I burned my own base. <laughs> um, uh, but I showed, I showed all five um, replays, and the base was not cleared. It wasn't dipped or anything. But I do show all five attacks. So starting the video, we're on the war map. You know, we show off scout mode and then the scout mode. Um, you know, so we, you know, we do show where, where all the traps are, the idea behind the layout why things are where they are, um, you know, try, you know, how to, how to defend Sui Lalo, making, you know, less value from a Sui Lalo, um, Inferno Tower placement, Spring Trap placement, bo uh, Giant Bomb placement, uh, how trash is laid out to make funnels more difficult. And we go ahead and show all five replays uh, using different attacks and defending in the new meta. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a good. It was, it was definitely a good a good video that I think helped out uh, a lot of people. Um, so yeah, definitely yeah, definitely check that out. Yes, I think that's a great video, and that's why I'm gonna be linking to that guys in the video description below again. Um, yeah, so some really awesome defensive stuff. Once again, today it was defense. Um, tomorrow is gonna be more offense again. In case you're looking for that, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for today. I also don't want to have this get too too long. Um, so, Rix, once again, thank you for coming on, man. It's been a pleasure. It's been a huge help. Uh, any final words, shout outs? Uh, well, I definitely want to give you a shout out for having me on your channel. I do want to personally congratulate you for hitting 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> thank you. Uh, that's got to be an awesome feeling. Hopefully, I can get there one day. Um, oh, but yeah, sure. definitely thank you for having me on. Shout out, you know, to you. Obviously, shout out to everybody in Fortune Steel, and everyone watching this video. We really, really wanted to do this with CWO right around the corner. We wanted to put a video together because they're every single day, uh, whether it's on Twitter, on Discord, uh, with, it, with, with in our comment sections, we're hearing so many questions uh, and concerns about this new tier system. Uh, so hopefully, you know, we want to do this video to help you guys. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. So hopefully you found you found it helpful. Oh, yeah, man. I'm absolutely sure you're going to hit uh, 5K subs, and I wouldn't be surprised if it happens really quickly. Um, guys, uh, once again, Rick's channel, Clashing FFS on YouTube, is going to be linked in the video description. Go subscribe over there. You won't regret it. That's going to do it for today. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, once again, thank you for being here. Bromancers out.